Hey guys, so I'm in Macau and it doesn't quite look like it from the surroundings but this is actually my first time on Chinese soil in three years since I left at the start of 2020, just before Covid. So whereas Hong Kong was a British colony for almost a hundred years, Macau was a Portuguese colony for almost 500 years and that's why you see all this really cool Mediterranean architecture behind me. So I think one of the things that makes Macau so different from Hong Kong, other than, you know, the obvious like Portuguese architecture everywhere and Portuguese language and all the signage, is that whereas in Hong Kong you get a lot more protests and a lot more, you know, political issues, Macau overall tends to be a lot quieter on that front and they tend to be much more accepting of Chinese rule. I think the reason for that, at least from what I understand, is that because, you know, almost the entire economy of Macau is built up on casinos. I mean, the casino industry here is seven times bigger than Las Vegas. And I think because of that, they're quite happy to be taking all the money that's coming in from mainland China because, you know, in the Chinese government, there's a huge amount of corruption and a lot of corrupt officials like to bring their money to Macau and spend it in the casinos or, you know, it's sort of like a, a bit of a Chinese sin city here. And so, you know, people were quite happy to be taking all that money from China. But not long after Xi Jinping took power, he had this huge so-called anti-corruption campaign which, you know, was pretty much just a, a way of ousting his political rivals and, you know, securing his position within the party. But um, immediately that year, Macau saw a huge decline in its economy because suddenly all of the government officials were afraid to be seen spending their money. So, you know, the casinos took a massive drop that year. So one thing I can feel about being in Macau in contrast to Taiwan where I just was is that you can very much feel that here is a part of China. Like the, the contrast between here and Taiwan is just very obvious because when I was in Taiwan it was like there was almost no mainland Chinese at all. Like, you know, the whole time I was there I didn't hear any mainland accented Mandarin. I think that's because of the current relationship and the, you know, the whole Thing with China flying planes into Taiwan's airspace and all of this. I think a lot of Chinese, they know all this stuff and they kind of think that it's not really safe to go to Taiwan. Um, in contrast to just a few years ago when it was really fashionable for Chinese to want to go and visit Taiwan and there was a lot of direct flights operating between the two places. Um, but yeah, now pretty much nothing. Whereas here, um, there's a lot of mainland Chinese, very, very different in that way. I was talking to a taxi driver and he said that because Macau is just separated uh, from Zhuhai by just like a small borderline um, and the Chinese who live there can get, they call it a Tongxing Zheng, it's like a pass that allows them to cross over into Hong Kong and Macau. So they can get one of those pretty easily and then they can come here once every two months so it's quite popular for them to come over and do shopping and 
you know, things like that.